cannabis market now as licenses continue to be issued and processed to hopeful sellers in New York State. One family has finally gotten the green light they've been looking for after two years on hold. Natalie Kuchko has been following their journey from day one and joins us now with this update. Natalie. Hi, Adam. Brittany and Jason Tintello own Flower City Hydroponics that's just outside Parenton. They were among the very first to apply for what was called a card license in New York State as those with a previous cannabis conviction were the initial group eligible to do so. Now, after all this time, they're finally on that path forward. It's truly a self-sacrifice. I mean, you have to give a lot to it because you believe in it and, and you you want to see it succeed. That's the motto Brittany and Jason Tintalo have held on to over the last few years. The couple runs Flower City Hydroponics and has been anxiously awaiting the day they can sell marijuana legally here in the Finger Lakes under Flower City Dispensary. That dream became a reality this week. Once we found out, it was a sigh of relief. You know, this industry is very unstable and knowing the fact that you know we get the opportunity to bring regulated and legal cannabis to our community brings stability. After what seemed like months on end of waiting and watching their peers move forward with sales, the couple didn't give up. Back in November, they purchased a property in Victor, paying months of rent just to keep a hopeful space for future business. Now they're getting ready to move in. Well, it was at high risk um, with very little uh, reward, um, not knowing because of the unknowns. However, you know, the risk might pay off now. We were in that 11th hour and our lease was going to end and thankfully it, it came. With the court injunctions lifted for the Finger Lakes and surrounding areas of the state, which put licensing on hold even longer, it's given business owners like the Tintalos a bit of hope. Now that Flower City Dispensary can be a part of it, I hope that we can help change and help Rochester and the surrounding communities grow economically. That is the plan. The Tintalos are expecting to open that new space. They've been renting it since November on Pittsford Victor Road by September 26th. For more updates from them, visit nyflowercitydispensary.com. Reporting in studio, Natalie Kuchko, News 8.